live from the studios of Coefficient Media in the chilly Jackson, Michigan, because we got air conditioning finally. Yes, this is the Android App Show episode number 67, and this week we're going to be talking about some uh, patent violators Ooh. and some fakers. Oh, get out of here! Welcome to the Android App Show. The future of the telephone business is bright and rich with promise for the millions of telephone users like yourselves, whose quick acceptance and ready use of each improvement in telephone service has helped make possible an endless chain of accomplishments. What will it be this time? Welcome to the show, everybody. This is Lane. And this is Dave. And we are the guys that argue about which is better, Android and Apple. And on this show, I get to win. Androids and Apples. Because right. it's Android. It's like that It's like that Cowboys and Aliens movie where what? it just should not go together, but it just works. Yeah, somehow. Like snakes on a plane. Yes. Like step on up to the microphone. Mother effing snakes on a mother effing plane. Whoa! Family friendly! That's, what, yeah, that's right. It's the self censored oh. version. Yes. Good job. And we're back. <laughs> it's true. Oh, dude, it feels so good in the studio today. Yes, it's quite nice. Quite nice to have some air conditioning. Um, yeah. You can't hear Lane. <laughs> that's funny. Microphone was a little too far away. We need to get it closer to you. Sorry your, about that. Is it a little bit better? Closer to your uh, schnoz there so you can... Closer to the pie speak. hole. Pie hole. Where the sound comes from. The beak. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we have an advertiser this week. I can't believe someone's advertising on our show. Actually, I can because we're awesome. Yes, so we're, we have somebody to help us keep the studio cool because uh, we spent all of our money on cameras and we <laughs> couldn't afford to pay for air conditioning. No kidding. <laughs> Uh, so this uh, is a Protect Your Home, an ADT authorized dealer. Uh, the phone number for them is one eight six six seven seven eight three one two seven. And of course, ADT authorized dealer means you can have them come and install a home security system dude, in your I, house. I can't believe this. If you call now, you'll get eight hundred and fifty dollars worth of free worth of equipment and installation charges for free. Yes. Well, uh, equipment and activation. Activation. So, because they do have a little bit of an installation charge oh, yeah, that applies. A little bit. So, um, but ADT is the number one monitoring service in the country. Uh, probably the most recognizable because of their yard signs that they have. Oh, uh, so pretty good. ubiquitous. Uh, kind of like the uh, the sign that my, well, the ADT sign's a little bit more reliable than this. But my uh, great grand, um, I used to have this sign up that said, This house guarded by shotgun four nights out of the week. You guess which four. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> so good times uh but att is a little bit more reliable than that and it costs you just a little bit more than a dollar a day which for me it's you know it's about what i spend on apps so yeah uh it's not not that bad and uh you have the additional benefit of saving 20 percent on homeowners insurance so yeah. it's pretty cool stuff once again if you are interested please call 1-866-778-3127 to speak with a representative and a $99 installation charge may apply. Uh, 36-month monitoring agreement at $35 to $99 per month. Call for terms and conditions and license numbers. So we'd like to thank uh, them. Protect your home. Yeah, for, for sponsoring the show. It's very cool. Helping us keep this going. Because so, we do it for the love, but love doesn't pay the bill. They're protecting our show. Yeah. <laughs> it's good times. Uh, so let's uh, let's protect some Android app reviews. Then. Yeah, let's get it going. What do we got first, Lane? So I have two reviews this week, uh, continuing in my normal custom. They're both games. Yeah. So <laughs> this is turning into a gaming show. We got to get some productivity up in here. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna have to Come break on, loose on some of that. Get stuff. productive. Get I'm gonna productive. have to break loose. But for right now, I'm all about the games. So some people love it. We got some compliments last week for covering that. Uh, uh, Death worm. Death worm. So, and it's funny too because the guy says, "Oh, well, you know, my kids love it." <laughs> and it's funny because you think death worm, you know, but my kids love it too. Yeah. I mean, that's it's crazy. I have the, you know, the well, you know, the regular Android phone. I'm yeah. reviewing uh, a Droid Incredible Two right now, and of course, I had the Droid Charge before, so I could I had two phones with death worm. Yeah. And an iPod Touch with death worm on it. Well, I was going to bed last night and I pulled out death worm and showed my wife. And it was. <laughs> the Wait, game. what are you talking uh, about? 
Is it, uh, are you naming it now? That's a, that's an odd name. <laughs> that's an odd name for that, Dave. <laughs> destroyer of worlds. Uh, no, Is but that she, what you she, she, destroyer of worlds. She, she Go she to bed, it. Dave. Go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Want to see my death worm? Babe? It's like yeah, yeah, not tonight. <laughs> that's horrible. Even my wife been watching too much Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. So the first app of the week. So yes, it's called uh, Trial Extreme. It's $1.99 ninety nine on the Android market. So let's Ooh, go it's ahead got and some good music too. Pop it, it open right here. It's kind of cool. It opens up into like this uh, garage looking thing where it has a motorcycle parked. You're a little dirt bike. Uh oh. Is my HDMI not? Not playing well with others. Not playing well with others, Lane. Okay, well, you know, most of the time all the problems are on the iPad show, but I'm going to restart the, the service. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I restarted the service. Hello. So don't, don't panic. I heard okay, some flippy flappers Let's see if it, there it is. There it is. Oh. Why is it in the different corner of the screen now? What just happened? I don't know. That's you. You're on the board. I didn't do it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was my fault. There All we right, go. here we go. That rocks so me. there's uh, me, 1, 4, N, 3. You can hook this up to Faint. What do you mean? You? Oh. It shares all your scores. If you want to check me out, uh, my username is 1, 4, N, 3. So I haven't had any uh, friend requests yet from our viewers, so either nobody likes me or nobody uses Faint. I don't know which. That's probably the case. <laughs> it's probably both. So you have an up now. They recently changed the controls. I've had this game for a while and the controls were a little bit different. They were on each side, but now they're both on the right. Up is go, down is break. Your time doesn't start until you cross this uh, trial extreme awesome looking finish line. Sweet. So you gotta jump ramps, and mm. you tilt your phone left and right, and if you just got your guy there, it looks like he's humping the air when you tilt it left and right. That's pretty entertaining. At least for me anyway. It's, my, uh, it's about my level of humor, Dave. I, I'm sure you're aware of that. I have noticed. If not, you should know. I'm resizing the screen here you a little can, bit so uh, it all fits on there the There you go. Nice Flip backwards. Oh, oh, save it. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh right caught my head. So replay. Got to start over again. This level six is pretty difficult here. Sorry, people. I'm resizing the screen so it fits on your viewing device here. That, that's not choppiness from the game. Yep. We're so doing it on the fly. Nice. Fixing the issues before they become big issues. How we do it? Here we go. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. Do the backflip again. Oh. Oh what? And he pulls it off, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -huh. This is a very forgiving game. It is. You can, uh, generally speaking, oh. if you're about to go one way, you just. Ex ooh. Oh. Ouch. That is not forgiving. <laughs> So there's all kinds of different levels on there. You can see I'm in pack one. Yeah. Um, but if you go to play, go to pack two. Pack two is a little bit different. This has, I think, a larger focus on big air. So big just, air. So we're waiting here for this to load. Not big hair. No, nope, just the big air. Let me see right. Oh, do a backflip. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I like that a lot, Lane. You kicked Woo it. Woohoo! Oh, the one kind of gripe I have about this, the clicking and stuff, pretty loud, but the motor sound for this motorcycle, yeah. very soft. There's nothing in the settings where you can turn up the... No, it's just enable music or enable sound effects. Oh. You just got to choose. That's oh, come on, complete. There we go. And... Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? What are you doing? Uh-oh. Oh, you're uh -oh. supposed to go backwards? Yep. All right. You pulled that yeah. off? I'm going to let this roll back. You pulled that off. I can't believe you pulled that off. All right, let's see if I can do this. There we go. Oh, man. And I'll let it roll back and then jump over that. There we go. So, unfortunately, Dude. I'm being timed. All right, let's ride this wheelie out. Yay! Yeah, the clicking sounds are really loud. Yeah, big time. Compared to everything else. So, this is kind of cool. This one changes up to a street now. Ooh, gotta jump over those because if you land in those holes, that's it. Uh, yeah. Landing on your face is also it as well. Yeah. In case fun. you're wondering. It's kind of weird how it does that drop down thing. I don't like that. Wee. <laughs> oh. 
think you need better skills here, Lane. Yeah. You got to lean back into those. Yeah, I see that right there. Oh, man. No, you got you to gotta keep leaning back from the beginning. Ride the good the thing about this, though, is it doesn't really, oh. doesn't really have much of a punishment for, like, when you screw up. Uh-huh. Right into the hole. <laughs> Dude, that would be <laughs> very big punishment. Yeah, keep leaning. Ride it down in. Ooh. Oh, he pulled that one off. How'd he pull that one out, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know. All right. Let's go down here. The little smoke trail is kind of cool, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Those awesome little touches. The graphics on the Android aren't all that bad. No. Oh, boy. Throwing up some dirt and stuff. <laughs> it's kind of funny I'm on the street now, yeah. but it still throws up dirt. <laughs> Oh my. Uh oh. I think might I might have uh, hit that too fast. But that's okay. You'll just <laughs> land it. Yeah. Come oh. on. Come on. Lean it forward. Seriously. All right. <laughs> Seriously. It is. It's pretty forgiving. It's fun. It's just plain fun. <laughs> All right, this is the last one here. I'll show you how. Okay. Each each one of these tracks is kind of it has its own little challenges to it. Whoa! You have to ride those. Nice. Riding the rail. See, it introduces little stuff like that. Keeps you on your toes. Um. Ooh. No, you did. Ooh, or on your face in that case. That was weird. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. What are and here's the options: music, effects. And control, you can, you can change the control the buttons, I guess. I'll, I'll show you just real quick what that looks like with the button control. Not good. I'll Not tell good. you that much. So Whoa. You acceleration. And if you tilt, it doesn't do anything. But you got to hit these buttons to do your flips and stuff. Yeah. Which, you know, you can get more fine motor control maybe on this if you're not real good at the tilting. Yeah. Uh, but if you've done it enough, oh. you pretty much get used to it. So... Trial Extreme, buck ninety nine, available on the Android market. Uh, I recommend downloading it. it. It works on pretty much one gigahertz uh, processor phones, or or better. You know, dual That's core cool. and stuff works too. But you're gonna want a higher end phone because the graphics on that are uh, off the hook. Yes, muy bueno. Actually, they look kind of blocky, but well, you know, it is an Android game. I must say, dollar ninety nine, cool. It's fun, though. It's just good fun. So what else do we have here, Lane? This next one I have is called Shaky Tower. Shaky, shaky. And it's one word. And this one uh, has a little bit of a backstory to it. Uh, I have friends with the guys at Hyper Beast. So I don't know if they watch the show. I think they do sometimes because uh, they always tweet our stuff whenever we review their things. So that sounds weird. Uh, but they sent me a preview for this. So I've kind of seen it for a few weeks now. And it was just released yesterday, I think, or the day before. Cool. Uh, and they they certainly have come a long way. It's kind of weird to see games like this when they're still in development. Shake a tower. So. It's free, too, which is al always nice. Yes, it is. Well, they have... Uh, i bring up the, uh, the preview on here. The Uh-oh. <laughs> yep, that did not work. It didn't work. I guess I'm going to have to stop the service and restart it. I just switched it to portrait mode. It doesn't always behave like I think it, it should or will. It's true. It's okay. Don't worry about it, Lane. All right. Let's try it again. Shaky Tower. So this is kind of like a tower building game? There we go. Yes. This There's a game for iOS that reminds me of this. I forget what it's called, though. I have, to have it on here. Somewhere. So they have like a... Uh, a trial thing that that will show you how to play it, you know. Um, but they also have the shop on here too. You earn coins and stars and stuff as you're playing along, or you can buy stars with real money, uh, and you can unlock things like artifact vision. You know, lets you see and collect artifacts. But uh, you can also remove ads if you score high enough, which is kind of an interesting feature, I think. Um, you can buy money. I purchased some of these, like the bubble level extended and the bubble level professional. I bought those because it gives you better control. You might want to try some other stuff, but I think that that's the best way to go. 
So once you go to play here, you have six different worlds. I've only beaten two and I'm into the third one. So I'll pull up the third, eight of 16. Pretty challenging stuff. I'm gonna put you right here into the mix of the real, oh, this one, I'm not, because I haven't been able to figure it out yet, frankly. So let's see, there's, there's all kinds of different kind of playing mechanics on this. This one is you, it builds on something that's previously established in the game, which is uh, these lines, the red lines go up the level and you have to build blocks inside these lines. And you have to stay right inside of them. Oh. And if you don't keep your phone steady, like I just did there, then your tower will tip over because that's part of the game. Hold it still lane. Not only are you building, but you have to tilt your phone sometimes to keep the tower steady. Don't shake that tower. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. there it goes. But see, on this level, as you as you build up, uh, new platforms come out to kind of establish a new, a new. Dang it! There we go. Level failed. It's because I got ahead of it. I'm gonna try and find a a better a better one to demo. Okay. Let's see. I want to find a car one. Let's see, adventure. This is probably the one with cars. I mean, like, what are you talking about? One with cars? Oh yeah, right here. So they've they've done all kinds of cool, interesting stuff with these. Cool, interesting, not just interesting. Yeah. So let's see. You're just on there, and you have to kind of control the car by leaning the phone, and you want to keep it going because if you let it get stuck. Your guy will fall off and hit those things. All these red things will kill your guy. And the object is not to kill the guy, as you might guess. So let's get some more speed going here. Ugh. Still didn't have enough speed. What the heck? I didn't have these problems before. <laughs> You're not doing very good. I beat this level like, I think it took me two times, and I certainly got past the this thing a lot quicker. Oh yeah, I made. A, I remember showing somebody else this too. I made a great joke about the uh, the Obama limousine getting caught on that curb. <laughs> oh yeah. Because it keeps getting stuck like that. <laughs> Do you just gotta keep your speed up or something? Yeah. Just not doing very good. Amateur. There's this one, which is a bonus level, where you just are like a skater. You tilt the phone left and right, go up these hills, collect stuff to keep going. And as soon as you touch anything, oh, that's uh, not good. you know. Mm -hmm. So let's go back Death. here. Go back to this first one. The thing I'm trying to do is show you, you know, as many uh, different levels as I can because mm -hmm. there's such diversity in this game. Uh, they really didn't rest on any one game type. Right. Uh, this one, you kind of have to bounce your guy around and hit all these different dynamite things here. Oh, and I missed one already. Oops. Oh, look, that one ended up going off up there anyway. Oh, there's a guy up there that didn't get blown off. So, and then now you gotta oh. move the phone back and forth and get all these guys to fall down on the red and kill themselves. And that's how you pass the oh. level. Good job. So, let's see. I'll get. Music's a little funky. Yeah. This one is more classic tower. The thing up at the top slides back and forth. So, let's see. I gotta kind of roll my guy over. Build a tower up here to get to number one. Then I gotta kind of shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. So I can then come back over here and build up a tower to number two. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, come on, jerk. Shake it out. 
Shake it. There we go. Nice. Okay. Sounds like a little baby talk. Yeah, it does kind of. <laughs> and that's how you beat that level. Huh. So there, there really is a... I guess the point I'm trying to get across is it's a very rich diversity. It's crazy. It's like a, it's a buffet see. of game styles. Let me pull up one here with balloons. Did you see one with balloons in the name? No, I didn't. No balloons. Ski jump. That looks exciting. Oh, it is. Okay. On this one, you have to get your guy sliding down. Yeah. Oh, boy. And then when you get down here... He goes up that fan, <laughs> and you have to coast him across <gasps> and catch those keys to unlock those. Oh. So let's get him down again. I have to get more air. I have to let the fan blow him up in the air more. And then straight across. Hey, Did one. the first one. Yeah. So. Sounds like little baby cubes. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of... Uh, uh, worms. What? You remember the game? Worms, worms yeah. where maybe it was Worms at War or something like that. It had all these worms, and you mm -hmm. shot bazookas and stuff at each other. And whenever they shot mm -hmm. at each other, they they always had like this weird like baby talk, or it's you like a very high pitched voice. You gotta get thing way. You gotta get that thing way up in the air, Lane. Yeah. Raise them up. Raise them up. Raise them up. See how high we get up there. Nice. Raise them up and go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm drop down. Go over. There it is. Dang. <laughs> Dude, you kicked it. Yeah. So, pretty cool stuff. Uh, the only thing I can really recommend is for you to just go through these levels because, like I say, it's uh, a very high diversity of, of games to play. And it's free. And that's what really blows my mind. So you can do... Let's do a quick game on hard. Look at all these all these different things. Uh, clean up. Yeah, let's clean up. Oh. So remove all the blocks before the timer expires. So you got to get these blocks to fall on those red things. But see, look, I have two of them. Uh, that fell outside the area. Can you tip it upside down? Nope. Just kind of... Yeah, you got to finesse it using gravity. Mm. That didn't work. Hey. Oh, 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 that was close. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Give it a good shake. Can you just shake it? Like, shake it like a... No. That was four that time. It's getting worse. We just gotta go wild with it, man. Just go wild. We gotta try and. Yeah, it's still two. <gasps> Break me a piece of that. I wonder. No. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, see that? I think that's it right there. Where I have to get it to break off pretty low, and then get them all. Oh yeah, totally. That might work. Yeah, see, it uh, uh so you're comes down to this where it'll take you. It gives you the option. Says, hey, you know, in case you forgot, <laughs> you you're collecting it. these coins, and you can do the next level unlock. So it'll skip. You can buy it with mm. the coins you get. The stars ah. are what cost you money. So get more uh -huh. bonus, extra seconds, etc. So then ah. it tells you what your balance is right there. But yeah, if you're really stuck in a spot, you'll see I have like over 1,600 coins and it only costs 70 to unlock the next level. And how much is a star? Uh, let's pull it up here. Ooh. So 50 costs you a dollar, okay. which is a pretty good deal. Yeah. And apparently you can get a promo code for 25. I don't know. I have to email them. Maybe they'll give me one. <laughs> so <laughs> nice. 100 for a standard and buck 69. So you get a pretty good deal for what you spend down here. I know for some of these other games, I've spent more. Uh, yeah. I won't name any names, but they were way too much. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's called uh, Shaky Tower, and it's for free. And that also integrates with Faint. So, uh, more reasons for you to add me as a friend on Faint. One, four, and three. It's the same as my Twitter name. It's the elite speak, maybe, for Lane. So elite. Yeah. 
So not that leap, but I like to pretend I am <laughs> on Open Faint and Twitter. So good times. So check it out. But we yeah. got a little bit of news this week. Want yes, to do we some do. news? Let's pull out the news. Shall we? <laughs> we shall. What's been going on? Let's yeah, so big news this week. Uh, Apple has oh been granted boy. a broad multi-touch patent that spells very bad news for Android and for pretty much every other mobile operating system out there. Except for Apple. Yes. Well, every other. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what you what you need to know is this could potentially be a disaster for everybody. It, it covers it be, multi-touch yeah. gestures on a on the screen, which that's pretty much every smartphone operating system now uh, mm. utilizes this stuff. So Apple has a few options. Uh, this is a patent that was filed back in 2007, um, in which we could talk about that on another show and why <laughs> it's just not being granted in 2011. Yeah. So, but they could sue to collect royalties from other companies, uh, which is the most likely option. And other companies are probably going to pay because, yeah. Hey, yeah. Um, it's kind of bad because it's going to raise barriers to competition. If anybody else wants to get in, especially other open source players like Migo, uh, they, or any truly open source nonprofit players that want to get in the market, yeah. are pretty much going to be hosed. Well, what do you think? Do you think this might be in response to like Samsung and all the trouble they've been going on with them? Uh, well, they filed it back in 2007 when the iPhone was first yeah. hitting the scene. So this was, I think, before Samsung started the wholesale copying. Yeah. Which I mean, come on, this is the Android show, I know, but we all said it when Samsung Galaxy S came out. Mm -hmm. It was a direct rip off of iPhone. It's like a plastic iPhone. Yeah, it's like you know, Android. They, they, we we caught enough, you know, crap about oh you copied this you copied that from Apple, you know yeah. when Android first came out. But then Samsung took it to a whole new level. <laughs> it was like really, do you really need to make the dock like that? Do you really need to add the fancy backgrounds around the icons and make them all look like Apple's icons? <laughs> do you? I don't think you need to. So whatever. Um, but that could happen, or they could also uh, sue. Uh, a file suit w to the FTC and say, you know, all these phones should be blocked from sale or import into the United States. They're violating a, a valid Ooh, patent. That would be rough. Yeah, that would be real rough. All of a sudden it would be everybody has to buy iOS. Uh, the consensus is right now, though, that if that were to happen, a judge would probably strike it down and mark the patent as uh, invalid. Yeah, because it's just, just too drastic. Yeah. yeah. So that it doesn't make any sense to completely destroy a market like that it's like saying you cannot sell any more cars because they use steering wheels yeah exactly it's like uh somebody patented the steering wheel interface what what yeah yeah but i don't know I, this, maybe that's a little bit different you know because that kind of is a a life or death kind of situation you know, you're teaching people how to drive you teach them how to drive with the steering interface and joystick interface you know going to make them learn a bunch of different things or you stick with one common interface might be safer i don't know back so in the day cell phones back in the day they didn't have some cards with they did have some cards with a stick a little thingy thing yeah <laughs> we had a stick that yeah you, uh, you turn, turn it, it was wheel. almost like a rudder turn your little wheel around <laughs> yeah so yeah i think they made some of those in jackson actually yeah i think they did electric vehicles actually yeah that factory's still standing over on Horton and Michigan. Nobody burnt it down yet? No. Wow. You know, just past the strip club before the Kmart. The oh. rundown part of town. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we should put our studio there, but uh, maybe not. You know? Eesh. Eesh. I've seen the inside of that building, too. It's nothing great. Um, but, yeah. that's It's kind of big news, though. Sorry. We got, <laughs> we got off on topic pretty <laughs> easy. It's pretty bad stuff, though. Yeah. You know, yeah. if Apple so chooses, they can really wring some money out of uh, the likes of HTC and mm -hmm. uh, maybe Google. and uh, Because one of the other interesting things that came up this week is that Microsoft protects the OEM producers from patent infringement yeah. suits. Google does not. No. Google says, eh. Take it or leave it. Yep. Yeah, it is what it is. And if you want it, then you might have to pay someday. And guess what? They are paying. <laughs> like HTC is <laughs> already paying Microsoft. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure a bunch of the other ones are too. 
Um, but yeah, for for their patent infringements or whatever that they're saying, uh, whatever. Down with software patents. I've said it before. I said it today, and I'll say it again. Well, I don't know. Software is sometimes sometimes you have to be uh, be vigilant about your software. I don't Especially know. if there's fake Android markets running around. Ooh, this Yikes. is kind of creepy. Creep me out. Yeah, this is uh, somebody has replicated the Android market on the web yeah. so that you could be redirected into, you know, if it's an install link, it'll look like the Android market. And they could make it look like whatever app they want it to look like. You know, right. it doesn't even have to be, you know, something to pretend it could be an update to Gmail. And then you click the install button, looks just like the Android market, yeah. and boom, you have oh. uh, malware installed right. on your phone, and you're completely hosed. Hey. But this is only really going to affect you if you have the allow third-party installation, and you honestly, honestly didn't realize that you were in your browser, you know, instead of in the Android market. Yeah. So I guess if you want to be <laughs> sure, hit your menu button. And see if it's the Android market menu that comes up or if it's your browser menu. That's a pretty good way to find out. Yeah. And if you're ordering something off the menu, you may have a different way to pay for it. Uh, that is a menu in a restaurant. Because there's a new form of near field communications, which is that kind of like they, d they showed it at Google I.O. last year where like you put your phone down and it has a chip in it and makes a payment between the phone and the Yeah, the using Google device. Wallet. Yeah. Um, there is a new way to do it using hyper... Sonic frequencies or ultrasonic, ultrasonic, ultrasonic. Hyper uh, might be something too. Yeah, um, but know. this uh, does it above the human hearing range, so it's not going to annoy anybody unless maybe little babies that have good hearing and dogs and dolphins, dogs and, and, and bats and bats and yeah, bats flocking you and mosquitoes. Ooh. I remember I used to have a mosquito repeller. It was this little thing you yeah. turn on and it like you makes just a put noise. a double A AA battery it in does it. Does not work. No, <laughs> not at all. My mom bought me no. like three of them, and I was like, "Thanks, mom. I'll never get a mosquito bite again." <laughs> 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 and it almost took me away. The mosquito's get, like, "That's my jam." <laughs> rolling deep, man. Keep it rocking. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but y this kind of works like, um, like a. Like DSL kind of, would you say? Yeah, it's that? like a comparison between a cable internet and a DSL internet connection. Right, or or even like a, a dial-up, like regular phone line internet and a DSL. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe. yeah. I think that's right. DSL, because you can't hear DSL. You put those little filters on your phone, so it makes it okay. But it still uh, yeah. travels over the same phone line. Yep. Um, but it's above your hearing, so. So it could be cool. It could be an, a nice way to bring NFC payments to phones that don't have NFC chips. So it's going to be a, a big deal if they if they ink the right deals. Right. And cool. it sounds like Android is inking the right deals because they have Sony Music Unlimited on Android now. Yeah, which is kind of not a big deal. <coughs> no? <laughs> no. Why not? Because you got the Amazon, yeah, Amazon, Amazon, Amazon Cloud Drive, right here, the yeah. Amazon Cloud Drive, the Moogle Hoosic. I'm char uh, channeling a little Marley Matlin. There. Moogle, so Google Music. Yeah, also. well, in Google Music, if you are lucky enough to have had a Zoom or log into one, I'm going to Best Buy tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what I did. You did. <laughs> yeah, and Brad did too. He got the invite, and he was like, "Oh, is that why I got the invite?" I'm like, "Yeah, because you logged into that Zoom." <laughs> It's like pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So yeah, it's. I guess it's not really. I don't know. At least I don't really care. But if you're invested in the Sony stuff, I don't know. I never. Like I'm never going to have a Sony service after they had the root kit on the CD. And exactly. like you guys lost all legitimacy. And I got that root kit. I was not happy. Yeah. No, I said no to the root kit. They were like, "Can we? Can we install something on your computer?" Yeah, to let you play it on your computer. And I was like. Heck no, you're not installing anything on my computer. Yeah. And I was like, fine, I'm just going to find the album another way, even though I own the CD. Yeah, really at that point, you're justified. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I absolve you. <laughs> thank you, thank and you. I don't have that, uh, that power, but... Oh, you do. You okay, just, I do. You just got it's it. It's done. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So interesting statistic has come out. Uh, people spend, m you know, people with mobile devices spend more time mm -hmm. in apps on them than on the web. 
So that switch finally came this year. Uh, people are spending an average 74 minutes per day on the internet on their devices, 81 minutes per day in apps. Does that include web apps? No. <laughs> <laughs> that falls under internet. <laughs> wow, and mobile app and, and native. Yeah, except for Google. They're like, they count, they count. <laughs> not yet, Google. No. Uh, not so. on the Palm Pre. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Burn. Works. Sting. Uh, hurts. Ouch. Or Google TV. Oh, man, that, that, that hurts anyway. real bad. Yeah. That just depresses me, But too. there was a little bit. It's not in the notes, Lane. It's not in the notes. There was a what little bit of rumor about Google TV showing up in the Android market. Oh, yeah. Totally. Yeah, you're right. On, on the devices list where they talk yeah. about compatibility and stuff, if you have a Google TV, it'll say on the Android market, uh, when you're looking at an app, it'll say this app is compatible with some of your devices. You click the plus sign right on there, and it'll show which ones and which ones aren't. Google TV is on the ones that aren't. Ooh. It's like, hmm, hmm, how soon is that update coming out? Mm. Well, I don't know. From They really didn't say. And I had somebody tell me on the Internet that it was in, uh, well, somebody I know on Twitter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, somebody on the Internet told me that, it sounds like the beginning of every rumor, yes. uh, that it was going to be in the fall. But from what I'd heard, I thought it was supposed to be this month. That it was supposed to be in June. I don't know. So, but that's totally Maybe it's going to come out when the new iPhone comes out. <laughs> oh, well. I'm just glad, and I thought that this wasn't going to be for a while. I'm just glad that Google TV is going to have apps before yeah. Apple TV. Yeah. I really thought that when the iOS 5 announcement was coming out, they were going to say, and guess what? TV. Boom. It's also coming to your TV, and well, we're doing apps on the TV. Now. That's the That's the other big like iOS rumor right now, the TV. Yeah. That they're partnering with oh, the Apple TV. That they're partnering Not with Samsung. TV. They're partnering with Samsung to produce TVs. Isn't that so weird? Yeah. Like they have such a complex relationship with Samsung. They produce so many components for Apple. No kidding. But Apple's just suing the crap out of them. You know. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know it's, it's a lover's quarrel. Yeah, it's funny, <laughs> but. <laughs> Samsung has really gotten in there. It's like, you know, what are you going to do? Because I don't think they can replace Samsung for some of the stuff like the, I don't know, A5 chip. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's produced by Samsung. I so, don't know. Yeah, I think that Apple designs it, and I think that Samsung produces it. I could be wrong. So feel free to email us and correct us. But this is the Android that, show. and I think one of the, uh, one of the camera about? pieces. Yeah. So Well, Apple said, Apple told all of their hardware developers, reduce your price by 10%. Oh, did they? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So they're really putting the hammer down. Well, there's a lot of speculation on that and that they're going to try and compete with Android. They're going to kill Android <laughs> with the iPhone 5. Yeah. You like know, they that's never that, going to happen. They say that every time, but yeah. Android it just keeps taking these. Oh, this time they really mean it, like, though. You know, they're like, oh, you know, finally uh, iPhone 5 is going to halt the gain of the Android market share and it's going to start retreating and Apple's <laughs> going to start taking back customers. It's crazy to see how like Android just keeps like going forward with each incremental advance in Android it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. When uh, when iPhones just like this like woo woo up and down up and down. Yeah. With the prevailing oh well but competition is great i am i'm yeah. really glad that iphone is out there helping uh keep android sharp yeah so and maybe a windows phone 7 can get their crap together <laughs> and help keep somebody sharp i don't know but yeah. they, they don't, they're not sharp rim themselves so. blackberry rim is going out of business it's gonna be Ooh. that's crazy yeah you know with the with the uh the obama administration is doing a lot of moving over to ios devices really? and well, that's yeah kinda scary. well you know the bush administration and <coughs> and previous was really heavy on rim because rim time. was you know big on business yeah. and the handwriting's really on the wall you know yeah. the stuff is moving over you know you i'm sure you've heard about the ipads and stuff in the white house yeah. you know maybe i'd like to see some android stuff in the white house mm -hmm. but yeah that's a pipe dream yeah <laughs> maybe you get ron paul in there just kidding yeah. just kidding people Gosh, I heard it from here. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Did you hear that? Yeah. The immediate backlash of the Ron Paul yeah. revolutionaries. It was awesome. Yeah. Does Sarah Palin use an Android? Uh, I don't know. She probably uses a Nokia. 
Probably though, I've seen that that new Nokia is pretty pretty badass. Mm-hmm. That carbon fiber, whatever, and the screen going to the Whoa. edges and stuff like that. Whoa! And the uh, oh, I guess one other thing. I guess if we're gonna talk about Nokia, we should talk about the Alien Dalvik uh, compiler. Is I'm sure you know Dave and all the mm-hmm. other Android experts that are out there know. Uh, Dalvik is the runtime engine that interprets the code, well, I knew that. the Java code. Totally legit. So. Uh, one of the great things about Android 2.1 or 2.2 was that it sped it up quite a bit, a lot better performance and apps than previously uh, was experienced. Wasn't it the JIT compiler? JIT? Yep, just in time. Well, now uh, the same company, and I'm blanking on it, maybe it's Meridian or Meriden. I think it's Meridian. Uh, but they had re- had come out with this just-in-time compiler before Google released it, and they were going to try and sell it Ooh. to uh Android phone manufacturers as a just-in-time compiler, and then Google kind of undercut them. Well, now they've come out with a new one called the Alien Dalvik compiler, and they are selling this to Nokia. Hmm. Manufa- you know, the yeah. Nokia, I guess, is the manufacturer, so that things like Mego uh, can run native Android apps. Like, all they Whoa. do is they don't have to recode them or anything. It's just recompiled with another switch in there Whoa. and uh anything that runs Mego or some of these other things like well like the blackberry playbook yeah you know it's supposed to be running android apps it's something very similar so that hmm. you can basically if you develop for android then you can push it out to any other device so pretty that's cool. cool that's really cool but yeah that's one of the that's a development that just recently came out i personally do it with html5 but that's just me yeah well, we talked about that before. The the way you know, and this is just kind of my rumor that I'm starting is I think that Android is eventually going to be going to HTML5 slash JavaScript like WebOS does. Can you do some of those high powered games in that though? Well, uh, once they get some of the 3D acceleration nailed down, mm-hmm. some of it is yes, like you see Angry Birds on Chrome OS. That's yeah. all HTML5 yeah. hardware accelerated. Uh, there's just some specs that really need to be nailed down. Yeah. But I look forward to the future where you can write HTML5 apps and run it on Windows 8 phones, Android desktop, 4.0 phones, mm-hmm. or 5.0, who knows. 12.0. And uh, maybe Apple will get their poop in a group and say, you know what, we'll, we'll let it go. Mm-hmm. No. There'll probably there'll be some tool or something released by... Oh, I don't know, Adobe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called Safari. Yeah. It's called... Well, Adobe is now... They re- Remember, they we, we, we like to mock this quite a bit. on. No, the, it's called the, Facebook. They, they block the uh, the compiler that let you compile Flash apps into iOS. Even They're f- doing that now. Yeah, I know. You I can do bu- that. I just bought it today. The Flex 4.5? Yeah. I totally said there's a book for 20 bucks I just read about on the internet today. I think I it was... Bought the Adobe Master Collection. Nice. I was like, you know, I might have to do it that. Hurt. It hurt. Yeah. How much did you pay for it? Is that new credit card high charge? <laughs> nice. Don't want to talk about it. Okay. We'll talk Student about Student discount. Aha. Nine ninety nine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fifty percent off. It's still too rich for my blood. I know. <laughs> <coughs> um. So. Yeah. Well, that's. I think that's all the news, and then aimless banter that we have for today <laughs> it is so if you want to check out more of these episodes please visit the android app uh you can download all this stuff links out to our social networking stuff uh which of course is twitter.com slash android app show and youtube.com slash the android app show it's and a lot of fun if you uh also if you go into the android market you can search for uh, you can search for Coefficient Media, which you saw at the very beginning of this episode, and see all of our Android apps. Uh, we have an app for the Android app show on there now, uh, and i got to put a link up on our website, make yeah. it easier for people to find. That'd be cool. Uh, and we also have the Android tech show up on there. So cool. Pretty easy to stream video or audio to nice. your device. And you can read the show notes, click through the links, uh, read the full stories to everything we talk about. Full show. So... 
making it making it easy and convenient. Yeah. And you can check out more fun shows like this at the Blueberry Podcast Network. We are proud members of the Blueberry Podcast Network. They really have some good content over there. It's all independently produced content like our show. And that's kind of what we like. We don't like to be all corporate and like yeah. all like slick and like, you know, hey man, how do you like my haircut? There's something nice about the grit. You got to have the grit yeah. in the yeah. We're a little gritty sometimes, but you know, it's fun. That's how you know it's authentic. You know, yeah. you think to yourself, as you know, I do when I watch some of these other podcasts too. Yeah, that's totally. I know what they're doing. Yeah, that's something I could, I totally did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fun. Cool. Well, we will we will be back next week with some more Android stuff, and we have an Android phone to review, don't we? Yeah, yeah. I guess we'll give you a little preview for next oh, week's dude. Android Tech Show. It's the right in front. The Droid Incredible 2. Dude, with the crazy little thing at the bottom. Yeah. The main feature of this phone. Let's see. Uh, I'll pull up Google. Google. I'm sure that goes to some... Google. Site. Google? Yeah, it keeps typing in A and I. That's no fun. So, you're like, oh, look, I'm reading this website in portrait mode. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to switch it into landscape. Boom. Bloop. Buttons rotate. Buttons just rotated. You just rotated that button. Yeah. How'd you rotate that button? What? Didn't I do that on the other phone, too? Let's see. Get slow motion for you. Boop. Beautiful. Pretty amazing stuff. Very amazing. It's groundbreaking. It's revolutionary. So, yeah. It's a cool feature for a phone, and I like it too. It's all black. And it's flat and like kind of funky shaped. Yes. As they would say on Robin Big, murdered out. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how you like your stuff. Yeah. It's time to murder out this show, so we will see you guys later. <laughs>